So this is the UE50 UE analyzer. To set up, first connect it to the power adapter. So this is the power cable. Before turning on the printer, ensure that there is thermal paper for the thermal printer. To open the thermal printer, press on the latch at the back and pull it upwards and towards us. So the cover is removed. And then we remove the roller. Use your index finger, press it towards us, pull. So the roller will pop. The thermal paper must be in the correct size with the thermal side on the top. So what you have to do is to check that this is the smoother side and this side and put it over, pull some extra paper out and latch in the roller. So you latch one side first then click the other side. So this is the installation for the thermal paper. Then you can cover back a cover for the thermal printer. So the installation for the thermal paper is complete. So the next step before turning on the device is to install the reagent sheet holder. So this part will be going inside first and this is the outer part. So what you have to do is to put it parallel and push it in. When everything is complete, you can turn on the device. Turn on the power plug and also the switch at the back. It will now undergo self-test and you can see that that strip drawer is going to come out. Before using the device every day, make sure that you do calibration in the morning to ensure that the device is working properly. So this is the test check sample to test the device and calibrate the device. So there's two strips inside, one is for daily use and one is in case that the daily use goes out of calibration. Ensure that the strip doesn't get wet, it's kept in the bottle. So before we use the device, we have to calibrate it and then you can choose the strip and choose to 14G. So 14G is for calibration, this is 14 strip. So select OK and place the calibration strip on the test shelf. When the calibration is complete, it will print out the results and you can compare these results to the results of the test sample. Compare it one by one to ensure that there is nothing wrong. If the results are different, you can compare it with a second test using the second strip. But usually it's just one, so every day before you use the device, you have to calibrate it. Then after calibration, you can keep the flash strip. Then press cancel to escape the result. Now the device is ready for testing, so we will proceed with testing samples. So first, this is your flash strip and ensure that this is UA50 then this is UA flash strip and then you can see that this is 11G means that there is 11 parameters and you have to choose the correct flash strip so in order to choose the correct flash strip first you have to press function 3 which is strip then you change it to 11G after selecting the correct strip, which is 11G, then you press OK. So now we can proceed with the test after confirming the test itself. 
how you proceed next. So this is the test strip. When you take one out, always ensure to close the box immediately to prevent the other test strip from oxidizing. Then you dip it in the ring. And before putting on the test strip shell, make sure that you wipe out all the extra urine and also water behind to ensure that you don't dirty the sensor. After waiting for a few times, you can place it on the shelf and a big sound will ring. So the results is printed out immediately after the test. So this is the results. And then you can remove the test strip. The results can also be seen in the device itself if it is not printed out. So you can press start to start the next test. Or you can just cancel and exit to the main menu. So the test results can be reviewed in the device itself by pressing on menu, select it to data band and press select. So you can view the patient's results according to the patient number. You can also choose to reprint the results by pressing on output and press print and then you press print again. So the results is printed out again. So this is for the results. You can press cancel to go back to the main menu. Cancel and also cancel again. That is the end of the test. In order to turn off the device, you can just turn off the switch and back. At the end of the day, you have to do daily maintenance by taking out the test strip. At the end of the day, before you keep the device, Make sure to wash and clean your test strip holder. So in order to take this test strip holder out, use two finger, hold it and just pull it towards you. So it will come out very easily. And then you can wash it, clean it, dry it and set it up again the next day. Which is to put it parallelly and push it in.